I see him walking around school, you know, I thought a brother was fine. Why would I be pregnant? I'm on birth control. When I tell y'all every day, every single day. Teach her how to hold a pretty hand up to the sky And I'ma wait up on the giver He'll deliver like a dealer Take her higher Higher Hey family, it's your girl Jaden And we back with another video If you're new to my channel Make sure you subscribe, leave a like and a comment If you're not new to my channel Thank you for coming to buy with your girl once again and as y'all can see by the title, we're getting into a story time today. If y'all hear noise in the background, y'all already know who it is, who it be. Nobody other than Denali Mouse, okay? I can see, y'all can see him right there. I can see him over there jumping around. Sit down, I'm not supposed to be going to bed. I'm going to just do a little disclaimer before we get into the video, y'all. This is no way, shape, fashion, form, nothing. I'm not telling no young women to um, have, you know, what, S-E-X, before marriage. Um, don't be having no kids, y'all. Y'all, be responsible. If you're going to do that, be responsible. But I'm advising you not to do it because that's not something we should be doing anyways. I'm not telling y'all to do this. I'm just giving my experience. And the young ladies that are going through this, then you know that you're not alone. So yeah, let's get into the video. All right, y'all. Um, so yeah, we are gonna be doing a story time on how I got pregnant at seventeen and how I moved out of my mom's house. I mean, your girl was being grown, grizzled. Okay, can't tell that girl nothing. Yeah, how we gonna start this story time? Do we go one cry? Okay, she good. All right, y'all. So. Where should I start? Um, all right, let's go back to, um, let me give y'all a little background. So, just in case y'all knew my channel, y'all ain't watching all my other videos. So, um, me and my baby daddy, we met when we were in high school, um, but we did not meet at school. I see him walking around school, you know, I thought our brother was fine. But I was like, yeah, mm -mm, he a hood dude. I like the hood dude, but y'all, I already knew what they came with. But he was looking a little good to me. So, um, I was like, yeah, I ain't gonna do that. Uh -uh. So, yeah, I seen him on Snapchat a few months later. I finally seen him on Snapchat. I was like, oh, this is that dude I seen in school. Da -da. Yes, I'm finna. Yeah, I seen him post stuff like a couple times. But I didn't, like, say nothing just yet. Because I was like, maybe if I post a few pictures, he'll slide up on my story. But he didn't. That kind of hurted me, though. Because it's like, why would you think that of me? So, one day, I seen him post a picture with a boot bag, a girl boot bag. And I was like, yes, this is my opportunity. Just be like, why you got that boot bag on? And that's what I said. And that's how me and my baby, they started talking um then we start hanging out a lot y'all y'all when i tell you me and this man was over each other house every day y'all every day i was over his house he was over my house we was stuck like glue ever since the first time we ever hung out like that was my boo so of course we doing things we're not supposed to be doing at our young tender age y'all he one year older than me he not even a whole year older than me y'all he like a few, he like, it's not his birthday in March, so, April, May, June, July, so he like five months older than you, girl, um, so basically he really not that much older than me anyways, so, yeah, we still wasn't supposed to be doing what we was doing, at this time, your girl was in the 12th, no, I was in the 11th grade because I graduated early, so this was the year that I was graduating, and, yeah, just living it up honey i'm like yes this is my man you know just doing it without using protection y'all i was planning on going into the military y'all i really didn't want to go but i was like okay my sister going so i'm gonna go so i was like i'm gonna take the easy way out i'm gonna go to the national guard national guard you know you get to come home because i'm like i don't want to leave my man for real 
but it really wasn't all him but like i really don't want to be in the military even if i wanted to go right now i still wouldn't want to go because this is i feel like it's just not for me it's not for everybody something about going into the national guard uh i really wasn't sure about it but i was like okay this is something i'm gonna do because i don't want my sister leaving me behind so i'm just gonna do this um to secure my future and even though that don't give you all the benefits that going active duty does but i was like okay this is something you know my family gonna still be proud of your girl your girl hopped off birth control i'm like okay i want to hop off birth control and um see how so my body can go ahead and regulate so when i get into the um military i ain't gotta worry about getting no no shot and i was on depot at the time so i didn't have to worry about getting no shot i had to worry about getting nothing honey and yeah that's what i did i stopped my burger troll y'all how i forget i stopped my burger troll i forgot all about that just doing too much just doing too much so yeah your girl is doing things and forgot she was off birth control so at this time me and um my baby daddy is together around about five months no, we was only together like four months at a time. And yeah, at this point I'm like, yes, he's my man. Like I know he's the one. I know he's the one and we're never breaking up. Like it's like Yeah, so he treated me so good. Yes, I love this man. Y'all how you how you know you love somebody in four months? Right. You don't. You do not. Y'all, it takes time to know people. And at the time, I didn't know that. I was going through a lot. Um, so, usually, my mom wouldn't let me hang out with boys that long. Like, that much. Like, every day. Like, I was at the man's house. Like, when I tell y'all every day, every single day. But usually, she wouldn't let me hang out with boys that long. Or that much through the week. Like, okay. She'd be like, okay, you already went out two times this week. That's it for this week try again next week honey but she had her own things going on so she really wasn't paying too much attention to me and my sister at the time so yes every chance i get baby come pick me up come by we chilling every chance every trip so y'all um like i said we now we four months in baby we're just doing it up so you know, everything seemed normal to me. Uh, I'm not really getting no symptoms. I'm not getting no... But one thing I did notice, I was having a headache. But I didn't know about, like, headache coinciding with pregnancy. I didn't know about all that. Um, but other than that, I didn't have no sickness. I didn't have no weight gain. My face was the same. Like, yeah, everything was the same except the headaches. So, which became prominent in my beginning of my pregnancy anyways. So, um, I'm just living life, and one day my mama picked me up from work, and she was like, are you pregnant? Yeah, as soon as I walked out the door, she looking at me, I'm like, what? She was like, are you pregnant? I was like, why would I be pregnant? I'm on birth control. Yeah. I literally forgot that I was on birth control. So, I was like, how am I pregnant? Um how that don't make sense if i'm on birth control right no you can still get pregnant on birth control for one and for two baby you're not on birth control so y'all and this was only a month after i stopped taking it so i'm like why would i be pregnant but okay so but the little fear in me y'all i started looking it up i started looking okay how long do it take before you get pregnant after depo y'all see three months four months a year i'm like yeah i'm definitely not pregnant because like it's only been a month how would i be pregnant and if it take this long and especially i've been on depot for like five years at a time like how no it was like four years because y'all i got on birth control when i was 13 13 years old so at the time it was four years so i was like okay so if i'm on birth control four years definitely couldn't be pregnant in one month I was just trying to convince myself at this point, like, this cannot be happening. What? So, um, 
So I was telling my mom, like, no, I don't think I'm pregnant. She was like, yes, girl, I think you're pregnant. But y'all, yeah, she was acting excited for some reason. So eventually I went to go get me a test. And she was at, no, she was gone at the time, y'all. Minding her business. And so, yeah, I was so scared. I was just sitting in the bathroom like, oh, am I going to take this test? Like, what, what if? Like, what if the lines come back? Two lines. Like, what am I do with a whole child at the age of 17? Like, whoa. And y'all, mind you, I just turned 17, like, four months before this. Maybe four or five months, maybe. Yeah. So, I was still freshly 17. So, I'm like, oh, uh-uh, lay down. Get in that cover and lay down. Get in that cover and lay down. Hold on, y'all. All right, I'm back. So I'm like, uh, uh, this cannot be life right now. This cannot be my life. Like, this can't be happening to me. Like me, I'm too. I look too good. I'm too skinny to have a baby. Like, I don't want to miss my baby, y'all. And the whole thing with me at the time, even growing up, I'm like, I'm not having no kids because I'm not messing my body up. I'm not having no kids because for one, I don't want no kids. And so now I'm sitting there in the bathroom like, I should have never said I wanted some kids. I didn't want no kids. Now I got kids. Like, it's always happened to the ones that say they don't want no kids. So, um, Denali, get in the bed. So I finally um, decided to go ahead and pee on that stick, y'all. It was immediately yes. Immediately. No, and y'all, this was a Dolly Tree test too. Y'all, I only took one test for both of my pregnancies, and y'all, as soon as I've seen both of them two lines, I already knew for a fact. Okay, this is real. This is real deal, Holy Phil, honey. Say it ain't so, tippy toe. Say it ain't so. <laughs> Your girl is about to have a baby, honey. So, y'all, the first person I tell is um my sister. I went right at her room. I'm like, Jada, they both are, it's a positive. Like, that's all I could say. I was like, and all she could do was like, she was like, and she started laughing. But she was excited because like, what? Like, she about to have a niece. Why wouldn't she be excited? Or a niece or a nephew. But why wouldn't she be excited? Like, of course she was scared for me. But at the same time, she got a niece or nephew. Like, what? So then I called my mom, and I went ahead and told her, and she she acted like she was mad. I'm like, how you gonna be mad now when the test came out positive, but you was so excited when you didn't know? Like, be for real. Um. So yeah, I told her, and then I text my baby daddy. I'm like. I sent him a picture of the um the pregnancy test and I was like, it's positive. And he was like, I knew it. And he was, like, he was like, um, did you tell anybody else? And I was like, Yeah. I told my mom, y'all. He was mad that I told my mom first and my sister first. I don't know why. But yeah, he wanted me to keep it a secret, I guess. Yeah, I don't know why he wanted me to keep it a secret, but he did. So so now your girl is knowing that she's pregnant. Um, I'm happy about it. I was like, at first I was kind of like, what am I do? But then I started getting happy about it because I'm like, yes, I with my man. Yes, like we still like go. Um, but I was, and then I became excited just for the child himself, not just because I mean me and my baby daddy was gonna be together. So um. Yeah, we start going through the pregnancy, and about two, three months in is when I end up moving out, y'all. It was a, it's a whole story behind how I end up moving out, y'all. How me and my mom got into it. Um, but I'm gonna just give y'all a little brief, little version, and not try to spill too many beans. That's not mine to spill. Um, so basically, me and my mom, you know, she had her situations going on in her life. And, you know, I had my, I was, like, really just wanting to be around my boyfriend and stuff at the time. 
So me and my baby daddy started noticing things that was going on with my mom that she was telling us, but it really wasn't true. Well, I felt like it wasn't true. I don't know. I don't. I still don't know if it was true to this day, honestly. But um, and I confronted her about it, and she got mad, y'all. She got really mad, and she started trying to fight me. And he and my sister tried to fight him. Like it was so much, y'all. I don't really want to get into it too much, but yeah. So after that night, we left, and it was a whole ordeal. Like my mom was saying that um my baby daddy kidnapped me, y'all. And y'all, people was texting my baby daddy, like threatening him, like bring that girl back, all this stuff. Like, but it's like I left on my own. Like I left on my own will. It was never nothing like that. So me and my baby daddy moved in with his granddad and. Yeah, it was cool. Your girl just thought she was the the stuff, y'all. Got my man, got my baby. Yes, like it's just about to be living luxury. We about to get our own place. No, none of that happened, y'all. None of it. I want to tell y'all exactly what happened with um my mom and stuff, but at the same time, I don't want um to put our business out there like that. So we're just gonna leave that where it's at. So basically that's the story on how your girl found out she was pregnant at 17 and then I moved out with my man. Oh yeah, y'all. Go to my um description box or go to my little where I tell y'all about myself under my channel. And y'all go follow me on Instagram because I want to start doing polls or cute or like question things. So I can ask me questions and stuff when I want to do Q and A's and stuff like that. But we're gonna go ahead and um leave the questions down below in this video. Y'all ask me some questions y'all wanna know about me so I can do a QA because somebody did ask me to do that. So y'all can get to know me, which I was planning on doing anyway, but we're gonna go ahead and um get that out of the way. But if y'all wanna ask me some questions that y'all wanna know specifically, go ahead and leave them down in this video. And I got y'all and I'm gonna answer them for y'all in the next video. Or one of the next videos. Either the next one. Or the next one after that. If y'all enjoyed this video, make sure y'all leave a like and a comment, honey. And don't forget to subscribe to your girl. And thank y'all for coming to buy with your girl once again. And I love y'all. Fast forward to the grown things now. I'm working on them soul things now. Forgiving all your old ways.